Well, a local couple reached out to On Your Side for some help when they couldn't get out of a contract for their home security system. Uh-oh. So Susan is here now with their story and what we all need to know and beware of when it comes to contracts. Yeah, it feels a little bit familiar, right? We can all envision exactly what happened. So this was a years-long agreement that started with a company under a different name. As prices went up, the deal got to be unaffordable, but so was the contract buyout. Lost of sensor. The Nicholsons have had a home security system for years. Bedroom window, low battery. But it's never quite worked the way they wanted it to. I called constantly. I wasn't very nice all the time because I got tired of calling for no service. Then Yvonne noticed prices going up. We live on a fixed income, so we have to watch every month we increment. Every increase, it, we, it, it affects us. What did the monthly payment start at? Oh, maybe about $25 a month. And then most recently? Oh, it was $50. When they got cut off, it was $50. I would never pay them $50 a month for no service. I'm not getting anything, and they're just increasing my account, increasing my account. She called Brinks home repeatedly to try to cancel the service. No matter when I called, if, if, if I said I wanted to cancel, then I w they would say, no, no, it's 31 months left on your account. Yvonne couldn't understand how that was possible, so but the time remaining on the contract never changed. And now the cancellation fee was going to cost more than $1,300. They got to be kidding me. And I'm not paying the $1,300. I'm just not going to pay it. So she called on your side for help. I know you can do this. <laughs> we did. When we contacted the company, the Nicholsons got a call. They say the company agreed to cancel the contract and waive the cancellation fee. And the company told us Sprinks Home's number one priority is providing the highest quality service and attention to all our customers. We remain committed to working hand in hand with our customers to resolve any issues or concerns and will continue to do so in the future. So this obviously isn't going to be the case for every contract dispute. So make sure you read that fine print very carefully. And if you ever have someone out to your home to do maintenance or repair work, ask them to confirm you are not agreeing on any sort of contract extension by having them do this work. There is also some some help possibly in some cases with buyer's remorse. The Federal Trade Commission's cooling off rule could help you. It gives you three days to cancel certain door-to-door -door sales and contracts that were made at your home, your workplace, or a seller's temporary location. They have to be valued at $25 or more, and it doesn't include a lot of things like real estate or insurance or some vehicles that were sold at a temporary location if that seller has at least one permanent place of business. So there is a lot going on there, a lot of very specific rules, but these are for those kind of buyer's remorse situations where somebody showed up, they did something, mm -hmm. you agreed to a contract, you have three days to go, whoa, 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 wait, that was too fast, right. I made a decision too fast, yeah. I want out of this. So okay, that wouldn't have helped obviously in the Nicholson's case, but it is good to know moving forward. For something uh, new. For something new. Totally, all right, Susan, great work.